In this tutorial, I will be using mod API to one shot kill enemies and to not die. The most common questions I get are, can you do this in creative mode? Yes, you can. You can do this in any mode that you want to do it in. Can you do this in multiplayer? Yes, you can. How do you make your screen so bright? Well, in the in-game settings, in the graphics tab, I go over to color grading and I select M131. I then hit Alt F3 to open up my NVIDIA filters and I choose the brightness slash contrast setting. In there, I turn the contrast to negative 100% and I turn the shadows down to negative 100%. Another question I get, why can't I pick up or find the item? Well, if you're on console, the PC is different. For example, on the PC, I can go to the yacht or I can go to the hanging cave to get the cassette player. On the console, you can only go to the yacht. Another very common question I get, why won't the cave cross off? There are three possible reasons to this. The first one, it could be a glitch. Save the game, quit the game. If you're on PC, verify the cache, load the game back up, and then very quickly go in and out of each entrance to the cave. If that does not work, you probably missed something, which is number two. You'll have to just rewatch the video Try and retrace your steps, figure out what you did wrong. Number three, you probably didn't explore the connected cave first. For example, I tried to explore baby cave while I was playing the forest one time. And while I did that, it didn't cross off. I had to explore hanging cave first, get that crossed off and then go into the baby cave, which is keep exploring hanging cave, by the way, that's what, we're, that's what I'm talking about. I had to then go back into that cave and then I could cross it off. I don't know if that's just something they knew that they threw in or what. Maybe it's a glitch, I don't know. But I'm just letting you know that there is a possibility that it is there. Cave number five, submerged cave. There is only one other entrance to this cave. Here is where they are located on the map. Pick an entrance, head there now, pause the video until you get there. There is technically a third entrance, but you cannot use that entrance till you get the rebreather. So for that reason, I will not count it as an entrance. I will instead count it as an exit. The most important item in this cave is the rebreather. The other items in this cave are as followed. Timmy's toy left leg, the rusty ax, photo cache three, beneath the limestone, Bible, Timmy drawing number six, Virginia sketch. There are four passengers in this cave and they are as followed. 8C, 7B, 4 a 7a you will see a card pop up in the top right corner of the screen if you have not done the other four caves which are dead cave hanging cave wet cave and baby cave i'd recommend clicking that card using the playlist to navigate to those other videos and watching those first if you already have those other caves crossed off continue watching this video with all that being said Let's head on in and explore this cave. All right, here we are in the submerged cave. This is the safest entrance to get into this cave because it's a walk-in entrance, okay? The safest entrance. There is a rope entrance a bit up further if you want to deal with the cannibals. Um, go ahead. But this is the safest way to enter. Uh, obviously, the other one is the quickest, but I chose... Since they're about the same distance, I chose the safest way, okay? So heading on into here. All right. There's, I think, three cannibals. Here's the rope entrance right there, okay? Again, it's closer, but you gotta deal with cannibals. Uh, and you gotta try and not wake them, but, you know, cannibals are stupid. <laughs> so, here's what it is. Let me just try and shoot these guys, because I think there's passengers in here, and I want to pull up a passenger manifest and show you what they are. Uh, I'm not sure if I can even... Oh, I got that guy right in the head. Hell yeah. All right, hello, sir. All right, you do that, sir. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Ah, uh, there's only two, I guess. I thought there was more, but two it is. All right. This is the best place to get cloth. You see these chests right here? You break them open, you get a whole bunch of cloth. I recommend that if you're playing on uh, anything past normal mode, so like hard or hard survival, you might want to come here and get all your cloth. It's the best place. The best place to get it, okay? There are some passengers right here. Again, I want to pull up the passenger manifest. There are, I think I said before... Four passengers in this cave, and I'm pretty sure they're all right here, okay? So, there's 8C, 4A, 7A, and then this one is 7B, all right? There's 28 passengers right there, okay? Up inside this little cubby hole right here, you're going to want to come in here. 
Here is Timmy's toy leg. There we go. All right, put that away now. You can get all the stuff on the floor if you want to. I'm not going to bother. All right, I'm going to head on over this way. I'm pretty sure this is just a random dude ripped to that guy. It's a pilot, actually, so ripped to that guy for sure. All right. Some more. Some Gucci. There we go. All right. Heading on over here. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Heading on over here. There, I think, is something on the floor over here. There is a picture right here. There we go. Look at that picture right there. So nice. Okay. Heading on into this. I don't know. Barrier, I guess, right here. Okay. Heading on into here. There is some more cannibals in here. I will just charge at them and kill them because I'm a boss. Sail. I know. You like sailing. And then boom. There we go. All right. All done. What else is in this cave? Uh, I think the rest of the stuff is in a different area. So let's just let's just uh, check. Oh, there's Gucci stuff in here too. I didn't even know that. All right. There we go. Okay, I think uh, there's nothing here. I think past over here, there's a torch on the floor. Yeah, if you don't have a flashlight, there's a flashlight right there. All right, there's some dynamite. Okay, or no, I think it's flares, actually. No, that's flares. Inside here is nothing. It's just, you know, some hearts and a brain piece, I guess. Some other stuff like that. A bunch of little organs in there. All right, heading on down here. Do not jump down here. I'm going to jump down here, but don't jump down here because I can't die. Uh, Maybe you can. I don't know. But I can't die, so I'm going to just jump on down here. Here we go. All right. There's that. Heading on over to this body over here. There is nothing on the floor. I actually thought there was. Okay, I lied. Heading on over here. Uh, there would be a crucifix on the floor right here. But because we picked it up in a different cave, it is no longer on the floor here. Just so you know. Okay. And then heading on out to this area. If you go right to this dead guy right here, you will find the rebreather. And there we go. All right. You got, if you jump in the water, it'll put it on automatically. So let's just hop on in here. There we go. Swimming, swimming, swimming. I love swimming. You love swimming, swimming, swimming. Yes, we do. Boom, boom, ba, dum, boom. Oh my God. Boom, boom, ba, dum. boom, boom, ba, dum, boom, boom, boom. All right. I'm going to just increase my speed here because there's literally nothing in this area. Uh, player speed. Okay. Uh, if you want to jump up there, there's babies up there, as you can see. And there's some, like, uh, I think flares and I think drinks, pills, and I also think some candy bars, some sticks, stuff like that. I can't go that fast in the water, though, Rip. I wish I could. Okay. If I go up here like this, though, I can go faster. There we go. All right. See, this is where you're going to need skulls or rocks right here. I'm going to just put my speed back down. You're going to need skulls or rocks to get into this area. Unequip the rebreather. Okay, that's why I was picking up skulls and rocks earlier. Because you gotta put them on this little thing right here. So C, 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 C. <laughs> there you go. All right, pick up all these again. There we go. You probably only need like three, but whatever. I don't know. Okay, heading on into here. This is where all the main stuff is going to be inside this main cave right here. There's some people on the floor right here. I think you can pick up something here, but I could be wrong about that. Probably not. They usually don't like putting stuff off of the beaten path. Usually. All right. Heading on over to this tent right here. Heading on over here. There's a Bible on the floor. You can pick that up. There is another Bible on the floor. If you want to pick that up. I don't know if it does anything. Some flare guns. There is a magazine on the floor right here. Beneath the limestone. All right. Campfire right there. And then heading on over here, some of that stuff, some rope, uh, the rusty axe, and a picture of a Virginia. There we go. Um, Photocache 3. I don't think I found Photocache 3. All right, let's just go inside this cave. I mean, in this water, I mean. And maybe it's down here. Maybe I just have to continue further. I'm not sure. Let's just continue on. See if we can maybe find it. Okay, the do list updated. That is the submerged cave all done. It should be anyway. All right, I'm gonna just head on up here. I think the photo cache is actually on a ledge up here. I'm pretty sure now that I think about it. I am almost positive. Head on up here. There we go. Okay, there's some sticks and stuff. 
Uh, let's pull out our book. And that's the submerged cave done. Let me climb up this rope first. Because I'm almost positive that the photo cache is on this ledge right here. Um, almost positive. Climbing up the rope. And up we go. Okay, there's the candy bar there. There's the photo cache right there. Candy bar and the photo cache. There we go. Put this away. There we go. The weapon cache. All right. All right. Now that we've found the photo cache, you want to go into the water right here. Just jump on in. Then you want to follow this all the way to the end. Okay. And then you'll want to go up and you'll see a little hole in the ceiling. Okay. Or I guess in the cave. I don't know. In the roof ceiling. I don't know. Whatever. On the top. Okay. Let's just put it that way. All right. You want to. Once you see a wall that looks like that, just look up. And there you go. Now you're going to come out of the cave right there. Okay. You can now use this as an entrance as well. You couldn't use it before because uh, the door was locked. But now you can use it as an entrance or an exit to get in and out of that cave. Okay. And then once you swim all the way up, you will arrive at Keith's Lake. Which I, for some reason, can't seem to stay. There we go. You'll arrive at Keith's Lake. So there we go. I hope this video has helped you. On the left side of the screen, you will see the next cave, which is the Lawyer's Cave. On the right side, you'll see a playlist. I have been doing the passenger manifest. I have been collecting items up until this point and obviously doing this Spelunker achievement guide at the same time. So if you need other caves, please look at that playlist right now and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye bye.